Ode to Abterra, the most efficient vehicle on the planet. <laughs> Welcome to my Aptera journey. This channel is intended to share with you my experience of driving a 150 kilowatt all-wheel drive Aptera through a mountain curving pass. And the thrill of acceleration on a freeway of 150 kilowatts of power in a lightweight vehicle. But we don't have an Aptera yet. But there are some things I'd like to share with you today. So let's get right to it. My name is Rich Rodriguez and I have an MBA and I'm a trained electrical engineer. In my day job, I underwrite public finance credit and I've underwritten well over a billion dollars of loans, and various sorts of credit to public entities. So let's first talk about financial conditions for Aptera. And why do they matter? Well, Aptera is moving towards an IPO. And fi financial conditions matter as you move towards an IPO. As many of you are aware of, Inflation has been rather high lately. And the only tool that the Federal Reserve knows that works well is increasing interest rates. As interest rates go up, it becomes harder for people to borrow and build under their house or borrow against their house and build an extra room or redo the kitchen or buy a new car because interest rates are higher, making these things more expensive. So as interest rates go up, aggregate demand goes down. As aggregate demand goes down, the theory is that inflation will also go down to match demand with supply. If you look at the first chart here, you'll see mortgage rates. Mortgage rates have gone up quite a bit recently. The gray bars in this chart are recessions. While interest rates have gone up recently, they're not to the levels that we saw in the 70s and the 80s, and I lived through that. Um, but interest rates possibly could go that high. We don't know. But the Fed is very intent on tamping down inflation. And what's going to happen when the Fed increases rates and tamps down inflation? Well, I'll let uh, economist Noriel Rubini answer that. Noriel 
correctly predicted the 2008 financial crisis. And he sees a long and ugly recession in the U.S. and globally occurring at the end of 2022. And that could last all the ways through 2023 in a sharp correction in the Standard & Poor 500. And he says that even in a plain vanilla recession, the S&P could fall by as much as 30%. And he says a real hard landing, which he expects, the S&P could fall as much as 40%. Noriel says it's not going to be a short and shallow recession. It's going to be severe and long and ugly. But remember, that's one opinion. But he did predict the financial crisis. Again, this is just to kind of paint a picture for Aptera as they move towards their IPO. Fortunately for Aptera, with a green tech technology that's future-facing, fortunately for Aptera, that's an efficiency play as well. Fortunately for Aptera, that's a solar play as well. Aptera as a whole presents itself as a green tech investment opportunity. And these opportunities, these green tech opportunities, are faced with a huge wall of money waiting to get invested in these opportunities. These monies include crowdfunding. Aptera has several very successful crowdfunding rounds, extraordinarily successful. Another opportunity for Aptera to take advantage of is family offices. The Gates family, Bill Gates, the Warehouser family, as examples. There's also private equity that would be interested in Aptera, such as BlackRock. There's also venture capital that could be interested in Aptera, such as Sequoia. There's also pension funds, the various state and private invention, state and private investment funds that would love to invest in a green tech company such as Aptera. And then finally, there's government. We recently heard that Aptera may be receiving $20 million from the state of California. And in my future video, I'm going to talk about more funding from the government that Aptera may be able to take advantage of. So there's a huge array of money waiting to invest in companies like Aptera. So while fi financial conditions are getting a little more difficult, there's a lot of money, billions of dollars, trillions of dollars, waiting to invest in companies like Aptera. So I did tour the final assembly facility in Carlsbad, California, Aptera's final assembly facility. And it was really exciting. We got to see the reveal of Gamma, which is nearly complete, nearly designed production intent vehicle. And that was tremendously exciting to see the Gamma vehicle released. But as I reflected on that experience days later, what I realized the most important takeaway from that tour of the facility was this. Aptera is planning for production. Yes, they're doing thermal planning. Yes, they're designing the interior. Yes, they're designing safety systems. But they're planning for production, my friends. There have been a lot of naysayers about Aptera. 
But when we listen to this next clip from co-CEO Chris Anthony carefully, what we find is the company is planning an integration of financial systems, inventory systems, parts control systems, and staging assembly throughout the factory so that they can produce vehicles in quantity and profitably. And this is all suggested by industry legend Sandy Monroe. So let's listen to Chris Anthony describe the planning system that they have for production. Um, as um, uh, creating a system where he can virtually build a vehicle. So he checks parts out of inventory, they get scanned in, he moves those parts from inventory to the assembly floor, and then the vehicles come through. He has it set for 12 second intervals, it's really 12 minutes. Uh, but you can see 12 assembly stations and everything that happens in those assembly stations on the screen here. And then the little screen to your right actually shows you what parts are flowing out of inventory and onto vehicles as they're being built. And that gives us you know, a leg up, and it, this is my eighth startup, um, and I just rule over systems like this that I wish I had in my previous companies. Um, this costs us a lot of money, a lot of time on mixed parts uh, to execute, but Sandy Monroe and everyone that's advised us has said, if you can get systems like this implemented before you ever build your first vehicle, you will have a much more successful company. And it helps us keep, uh, control, on our, <laughs> helps us keep control on our building materials costs. It makes everything very traceable. We also have an ERP system, so all of our accounting is digitally run. It uh, you know, brings in inventory as needed, and then the inventory is executed into bills via this system. And then in the future, for a warranty system that will track back to this, you know, everything that was put into your Aptera, so we know if there's a problem with a series of, like, we got 100 volts, and the 100 volt, you know, they were bad, and we had to you know, track that five years from now and figure out what happened with those volts. But I think it's, it's really notable, and I think if you guys have seen other EV startups or been around, it's not a thing that, that many companies, startups that I have seen have ever been able to accomplish, but I think it's a really, real big compliment to our team that we've been able to execute on this. Thanks, Nick. As I toured the factory floor, I saw these different designated assembly stations, and they are what spurred my curiosity about what the most important thing was that I saw on the gamma reveal, on the final assembly, line of Aptera. And it's that they are planning, Aptera Motors is planning for productive, profitable production of these vehicles. So that's pretty much what I want to share with you today, my friends. Financial conditions and production planning. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. Click the like button down below and you'll also find down below a link for 30% off your refundable Aptera reservation. Until we talk again, do take care and charge on. Ode to Aptera, the most efficient vehicle on the planet. <laughs> So
taking off from the sun. No more drilling, can't you see? We're done. Ode to Abterra, the most efficient vehicle on the planet. Mm.